Strictly Come Dancing Judge Motsi Mobuse, 41, has been mischievously described as a diva for having an entourage backstage to do her hair and makeup. Meanwhile, sidestepping the criticism, the star posted a photo of herself and fellow female Judge Shirley Ballas, marveling that the anniversary special was an interesting show. Girls just want to have fun at Shirley Ballas. Motsi captioned the photo of the pair of them, as she showed off her bright red sequin dress and an attention-grabbing red lipstick to match. However, Craig has already hit back that the incredible makeup she models during the shows is the result of a hard-working team of six. Motsi's got six people in her dressing room doing the makeup, the lipstick, the eyes, the false eyelashes, her hair, her dress. She's a diva, Craig exclaimed. Meanwhile, he insisted to the son, I have no one. I do my own hair and makeup. Motsi's makeup transformations have impressed fans so much that they have been replicated year after year, and previous Halloween show eyeliners have gone down a storm. However, one of her team spoke out earlier to explain the dedication that goes into keeping her look on point week after week. Marco Skurgel admitted there had been one horror story, when a fake nail went flying right in the middle of some advice she was giving to a contestant, much to his embarrassment. The only thing that really had my heart racing was when of Motsi's false nails popped off midway through the judge's comments, he clarified to Hello. Luckily for me I carry spare nails and nail glue in my set bag so I quickly popped over to her and replaced the nail. It was a tough 45 seconds watching her wave her hands with a missing nail, Marcos added with a gulp. He clarified that he had also tirelessly touched up her lipstick and blusher during each show, when the cameras were directed away from her, to keep everything looking flawless. Meanwhile, it's not just Motsi that Caddy Craig sank his claws into during his recent interview. He also aimed for NTA winner Anton Dubeka, quipping that his head is so big it doesn't fit through our connecting dressing room doors. The former pro dancer was declared the best TV judge of Britain at the last prestigious annual ceremony, and Craig says he was one of those who voted for him. Despite being a regular on the show since its inception almost 20 years ago, Craig has never won the Best Judge Award himself. Darling, I was up against the greats, you know, the Simon Cowles of this world, so it was quite difficult for me to win, he stated by way of explanation. This year, I think Anton sort of won it with a landslide and it was brilliant, and he's a great addition to the team. The star also joked that Anton is jealous of his writer and has designs on the fruit and nut mixtures he eats. Meanwhile, despite Motsi insisting that the BBC's 100th anniversary edition of Strictly was an interesting show for me, some of her Twitter fans thought otherwise, exclaiming that they are not partial to theme weeks. The show has seen lower ratings this year than in previous years, although there is still a huge number of die-hard fans. At ZebraSots5 tweeted, You both looked absolutely fabulous tonight and as always loved watching you thank you for making Strictly the best show ever Strictly means the world to me xx.